Hi, Dr. Andrea Maxim, naturopathic doctor and the creator of the Maxim Movement. Today's video is a continuation from the last one where we were talking about how you can maximize your alkalinity. And one of the first and foremost tests in order to see how your acid alkaline balance is, is to test your urine pH. Now the reason why I like urine pH over salivary pH is because the urine pH gives us an idea of what the body is eliminating. So remember our main sources of elimination with regards to toxins is going to be the bowels, the urine, the breath, and the skin. The more toxins we have in the system or the more our food is very acidic or the more acid burden we have, the more acidic that urine pH strip is going to be. Now some people will test salivary pH and what the salivary pH is showing you is simply just how well your digestive system is working. So if your digestive enzymes are being released, if your body's able to metabolize your foods properly, you'll find that your salivary pH will stay very alkaline. This is not a good reflection of your body as a whole and that's why urine pH is so important. So one of the first things you need to do is you need to go to your health food store and you need to pick up some urine pH test strips. Often they come in a little box or on a spool and you just take small little samples of that and just grab one or two drops of urine, see what color it changes and it will change instantly and compare it to the pH um, color graph or color chart that's usually located on the box that the pH paper came in. Now this image here is an example of the test that I like to use with my patients and you're going to see here that there's this little squiggly line. That squiggly line is considered normal. So we're going to have a lower pH in the morning. It should be nice and hot during the day and then it should fall off to be a bit more acidic because of the wear and tear and you know how busy our day was towards the end. So it's okay if you have an acidic urine pH at the end of the day but during the day and in the morning we want it to be anywhere from six and a half to seven and a half consistently. If you fall below that line and you're consistently below that line then we definitely know that there's some work to be done with regards to improving your alkalinity. If you are well above the line, let's say the entire day you're a 7.5 or higher, that's also not very good. And the reason why is because that's telling me that your body may not be able to create buffer at all, which sounds counterintuitive. It's pumping out a lot of this bicarbonate, which is making your urine appear very, um, very alkaline, but really what's happening is your kidneys just are not working for you at all. So we wanna be watching that. So ideally you wanna be within that squiggly line. So the squiggly line is going throughout the entire day. So you wanna be checking your urine pH throughout the day. You wanna be looking first thing in the morning and first morning void is the most important because that first morning void is going to accumulate all the toxins that you've accumulated at night while you're sleeping because that is when we're detoxifying the system and repairing the system. So the first morning void or the first morning urine. And then you wanna do some time in the afternoon and definitely towards the end of the day. What we want to see is at least some variation along that chart. We don't want to be seeing any flat lines. Flat lining is not good either. Um, so if you're consistently in the yellow or consistently at one particular pH, that's not good because just like with our diet, we're expecting to see some variety there. Um, and the other thing that I find is some people will be good. First thing in the morning, they'll fall within the line. Towards the end of the night, they'll fall within the line, but in the middle, they're very low. And the reason for that is mostly because that's when we're the busiest. So during the day is when we're at work or taking care of our kids and it causes a lot of strain on the body with that excess stress and we wanna make sure that we're giving our body the nutrients it needs during the day specifically so that at night everything's a lot easier. One of the easy ways that you can start raising your alkalinity is just ensuring that with every single meal you have some sort of dark green vegetable. Um, or even the berries are an excellent way of giving you some antioxidants. Dark greens are always my favorite. 
The other thing that you can certainly be doing is having a nice green shake one, two, or three times throughout the day, depending on how your urine pH varies throughout the day. So sometimes in the afternoon when I know my patient's pH is gonna be lower because they're so busy, I'll have them take their green shake then, and they get a little bit of boost of energy. They kind of curb that sugar craving that we often get between two and 4 p.m., and it also keeps their pH status nice and alkaline. So I encourage you to go out to your health food store, if you have them already, start testing your urine pH and see where you stack up with regards to how you are maximizing your alkalinity. Of course, if you have any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to contact me. Again, I'm Dr. Andrea Maxim, the creator of the Maxim Movement and Naturopathic Doctor. And as always, have a happy and healthy day.